So this good thing. He says that we should know that all work together for good, but he explains why a little bit. He says, this is to those who love Elohim. And so everybody out there in Christianity says they love Elohim. All kinds of people out there saying they love Elohim. But see, but we also know that in John 14, 15, it says, if you love me, guard my commands. Actually, he says, you shall guard. Okay? If you love me, then you'll guard my commands. So let's understand that that is already understood before we get to Romans. That when it says things like, all work together for good to those who guard my commands, which is an expression of love to our creator. That's his love language. Trust obedience to his instructions. So why is he saying this? Why is he talking about all things working together for the good to those who love Elohim, to those who are called according to his purpose? So what, is, what does it mean, called according to his purpose? He called you for a purpose. Okay? Not like he called you according to what well, his purpose was to call a bunch of people. No. He called you because he has something for you to do. You're called according to the purpose in other words, the, the, the thing he wants people to do, and he chose you to be one of them. So all work for the good to those who are guarding and keeping the commands, who are doing the commandments, and are doing these things according to the purpose that he called you to in the first place. So you are called to this purpose. So there's two laws, all right, there's two. And he's saying is, there's no condemnation for those who are in Messiah who don't walk according to the one law, who are now walking according to the other law. He says the law of the spirit, okay, the law of the spirit of life is in Messiah Yeshua. That has set you free from the law of sin and death. What is law? It's instruction, what's right, what's wrong, to do this, don't do that, right? That's what the law is. So there's a law that leads to death. It's the law of sin and death. In other words, the law that says you can do this, which is sin, and it's okay, and blah, but you're gonna end up with death. Then there's the spiritual law that when you do it, it leads to life. So there's two different laws, and he's, th he's telling you right here in verse one and two that the rest of this is going to be about comparing the two. Those who have the mindset the mindset of Yeshua, focusing on the things of above, or you have the fleshly mindset, the things of below. It's very simple. Don't complicate this. He says, living according to, right? Listen to the way verse five, five, those who live according to. Not those who just believe in it and he did it for you. Those who actually behave and live according to the flesh set their minds on the flesh. Those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the spirit. But you're living according to a set of laws. Okay? The laws basically set what in motion? An understanding of right and wrong. I mean, that's simply what it is, right? This is right, this is wrong. And the flesh has a very different understanding of that than the spirit does. The above versus the below. The heavenly versus the fleshly or earthly when you will not subject yourself to the instructions, the law of Elohim, then you're an adversary, you're an enemy. Your mind is at enmity towards Elohim because it won't subject itself. So you guys who really have a problem with submission, that's what subjecting means, submitting, subjecting. In other words, you're going to put that above you. Whatever that is you're submitting to, whatever you're subjecting yourself to, you're putting above you. The flesh won't do that. The flesh is going to put you first. So it's at enmity, it's at enmity with the Elohim. He says, but you, you know, it says the, the flesh does not subject itself to the law of Elohim, neither indeed is it able to. And those who are in the flesh are unable to please Elohim. I, I'm just, let's take this on a human fleshly level. Okay, you are a, an employer, Maybe you're a parent and you've got two employees, you've got two children, whatever it is, okay? Is it right to give 
all of them, however many there are, exactly the same thing, no matter how well they behave, no matter how well they did their job, no matter how well, give everybody the same raise? You're giving everybody the same everything? Or what they do matters? So that wouldn't be righteous, would it? Okay? Because there'd be no, there'd be no, there'd be no reaping and sowing there. Like there'd no, there's no earning and there's no punishment or, or, or giving some sort of chastisement. Look, you, you, you're lucky I don't fire you, let alone give you a raise type of thing, versus the other person, wow, you're the best employee I've ever had, let me give you a great bonus, okay? I mean, when you think of the, by the way, none of my staff think to come to me later with all that. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about and convinced that this is not all there is, okay? And so, I don't know what's next, I mean, we have, tiny little hints here and there of things that might be next, but we really don't know what's next. But what we do know is that he wants to see what we're made of before he brings us into whatever's next. And that's what we're gonna see. He wants to say, are you gonna be subject to the spirit, which is my law, or are you gonna be subject to the, the flesh, which is your law? Which one are you gonna be subject to? Because remember, all things work for the good. Again, that's his stuff, according to his way, according to his purposes. Not according, this, notice the comparison leading to that verse is between two. All things work for the good with the one, but not the other, okay? That's the context leading to that verse. Of course, people just quote the one verse. So he's saying, for as many as are led by the above mindset, these are the sons of Elohim. Led, you know what led means? It means that you're following, right? Something's leading you, you're following it. Right? If you're led by the Spirit, it means you're following in that, in that way, in that path. What did Yeshua say to the disciples when he, when he found them? Listen to the follow the pattern teaching. Okay, he said, follow me. And when they did, you know what they were doing? They were being led by the Spirit. Okay? Because they followed. I can't tell you how many people want to tell me all the time, oh, you know, I just felt led to do this, led to do that. I, well, which, which one of these two was leading you? Because you want to claim everything's always the spirit when it's not. A lot of times it's the flesh. You need someone to help you figure that out sometimes. So if you think that you have unspeakable things, everybody's got some unspeakable things. Of course, your unspeakable things may be worse or better than somebody else's. It doesn't matter. We're not comparing. But to you, they're unspeakable. You're ashamed, you can't believe you did it. You, well, you know you did it, but you're embarrassed. And all. But that was not you anymore. That was the old you. He's saying that flesh died when you had Messiah come into your life. At least it should have. Of course, you can keep feeding that flesh, meaning you keep doing the things you used to do. That feeds the flesh. You do the things the spirit, it feeds the spirit. Okay? So he's dealing with people struggling with their identity. Because he's saying, look, if you do this, you are sons of Elohim. Stop condemning yourself. And we know, going through all of this, the hardships, the endurance, we know that all things work for the good. Okay? In this context, now does it make a lot more sense? In other words, stop beating yourself up and condemning yourself for everything you've done. Stop struggling with the fact that life, now that you've made your choice, hasn't gotten any better necessarily in a lot of different ways, better in some ways, obviously, because maybe you're out of the bondage of a bunch of things, but still, life is still life, okay? And it still sucks in a lot of ways because we're down here in the below with all the other flesh people, all behaving fleshly ways, very challenging, but yet, we're, this is the Emunah verse. But no, you need to know that all things, okay? Yeah, this is the Emunah thing, right? You believe that all things, Abba has them in control, that all work towards his good. <laughs> 